In today's mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, what are some guidelines for helping one another do our best learning? The past few weeks, we have been working on building our routines for reading workshop. We have learned how to select and take care of the books in our classroom library, how to choose just right books, how to track our thinking, how to buzz about our reading, and be aware of what good readers do. Today, we're going to be thinking about all the ideas we have talked about the past few days and add more ideas to what good readers do on our anchor chart. As readers and writers, we need to work together in our classroom, helping each other do our best learning. We have been talking about some of the ways we can help each other as readers and writers. I want you to think on your own for a minute and see if you can come up with three more ideas to add to our chart. Pause the video to add to the chart and then come back. Now I want you to turn and talk to your partner. Share the ideas you came up with and together have a list of at least five ideas. You may have added some of the following ideas to the chart. One, you must always be reading a book or writing your thoughts about your reading. Two, you need to work silently to enable you and your peers to do your best thinking. Three, use a soft voice when conferring with a teacher. Four, Select books you think you'll enjoy and abandon books that aren't working for you after you've given them a good chance. Five, always do your best work. Remember that these guidelines are written on the chart and will be displayed in the classroom as a reminder. If we all observe these guidelines, we can do our best work. Today's book talk is Holes by Lewis Satcher. Stanley Yelnats is under a curse, a curse that began with his no good, dirty, rotten, pig stealing great great grandfather and has since followed generations of Yelnatses. Now Stanley has been unjustly sent to a boys detention center, Camp Green Lake, where the boys build character by spending all day, every day, digging holes exactly five feet wide and five feet deep. There is no lake at Camp Green Lake, but there are an awful lot of holes. It doesn't take long for Stanley to realize there's more than character improvement going on at Camp Green Lake. The boys are digging holes because the warden is looking for something. But what could be buried under a dried up lake? Stanley tries to dig up the truth in this inventive and darkly humorous tale of crime and punishment and redemption. This is a book I highly recommend. The chapters are short and the book is exciting to read. You will want to keep reading to find out what happens. You will have 25 minutes of independent, sustained reading time today. Today, as you move to your reading spots, remember to stop a couple of times during your reading and leave some thinking tracks on your think mark. Focus on any questions, connections, or predictions you are making in your mind. And remember, you'll be coming together again for your book club discussion. When you do, you'll be answering some of these questions. What are you reading? What is the author's name of what you're reading? What has been happening in your book this, this week? What is one connection, question, idea that you have had that has helped you understand your story better? What do you think will happen in your story next? This week, we will be self-assessing again to think about how we are doing in Reading Workshop. You will notice we have added a few new categories and have both teacher score and student score columns this week. Respects others. Student reads quietly for 25 minutes and stays in one place in the reading area. How would you rate yourself for this week? How do you think your teacher would rate you for this week? Hmm. Next is chooses appropriate books. Student chooses a book that he or she has not read before, which is at or above grade level, or has been previously approved by the teacher. Where are you with this one? How would you rate yourself? What about your teacher? 
Then there's stays on task. Student reads the entire period. This may be independent reading or done with adult or peer assistance or assigned. How would you rate yourself for staying on task this week? What would your teacher say about that? Hmm. Okay. And after that, there's book log. Student completes all parts of the book log as modeled by the teacher. An entry is recorded for each day of assigned reading. Where are you with this? What would your teacher say about your book log this week? Okay, so here's one of the new categories, thinking tracks. It's a new category for this week. Student is leaving think tracks using post-it notes to track their thinking. Student clearly demonstrates that many strategies are being used. Comprehension, understanding, what you are reading, all of that is happening. What would you say about that? What would your teacher say about that this week? And finally, conferences and buzzing with partners, another new category. Student can do a retell and discusses book easily during conference or book club discussions. Student talks at length with confidence about their story. Where are we on this? How are you with your book club discussions and how are they going? Are you contributing to them and giving your best effort to them? What would your teacher say if she or he overheard what was going on in book club discussion this week? And don't forget to start filling in your reading log for the day. In-class reading counts too.